Hi all, this is Nisha here. So welcome to yet another vlog. And in today's vlog, I'll be showing some of my weekend recipes and an outing to Mall of Qatar. Some kiddy time at the kids' monto. So stay tuned. And before heading, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more notifications. the morning routine the first thing is to pack tiffin for ayan and for today i have packed fried chicken now the chicken i have marinated with some turmeric powder chili powder garam masala uh, ginger garlic paste uh, shallots some shallots crushed shallots and i'll just fry it the previous day and the next day i will be just steaming it now steaming makes the chicken warm but also it makes them juicy too As a side, I'll be keeping a simple cucumber salad. Now into the peeled and a sliced cucumber, I'll be adding 1 tablespoon of lemon juice and salt as needed. Just mix it well and it's done. To the side, we'll be placing the cucumber salad and our first tiffin is ready. Now for the second tiffin, I have taken some oranges. You can sprinkle some salt on top with a packet of biscuit. A pack after dropping him to bus. Now some days I have oats as my breakfast but uh, I don't like it having as such. So I do sprinkle boost powder on top with uh, your favorite nuts and have it with banana. For the lunch, I have decided to make mutton and uh, I thought of making a Kerala style and uh, it's called as the mutton pepper roast. Now for the recipe, I have taken over here 3 medium onions, 1 medium piece of ginger and 8 to 9 of garlics and we may require lemon juice also. Now I have crushed the ginger garlic over here and finely chopped the onions. I marinated the mutton with salt and uh, a tablespoon of curd and I kept it for nearly uh, 20 to 30 minutes because it makes the mutton more softer and also it increases the taste also. Taken nearly 1 kg of mutton cut into small pieces. Now into a bowl we will be adding our mutton pieces and then we will be adding 1 tablespoon teaspoon of turmeric powder. Then goes in 2 tablespoon of coriander powder. And next we will be adding chilli powder that as per your taste. You can add the regular chilli powder or Kashmiri chilli powder. And next goes in cumin powder. I use nearly 1 teaspoon of jeera powder or the cumin powder. We will be squeezing half a lemon into it. Add needed salt. Just mix it well with your hand. It's done and ready for our cooking process. I have heated a pan over here and added needed coconut oil, maybe uh, 3 to 4 tablespoon of coconut oil and then when it's hot we will be adding the crushed ginger and garlic and sort it for a minute or until the raw smell of the ginger and garlic disappears. When the garlic is done we have added the uh, chopped onions into it. along with few curry leaves. 
sort well until the onions become soft and then we will be adding the mutton pieces. Add kneaded pepper powder. I have used over here nearly 3 tablespoons of pepper powder. Give it a good mix. Next I will be adding a tablespoon of fennel powder. Next after uh, sorting it for 3 to 4 minutes I will be adding kneaded water into it. I have added nearly 3 to 4 cups of water. Check the kneaded salt and close it with a lid and let it get cooked. When the mutton is cooked and the water is completely absorbed, our special mutton pepper roast is ready. You can add a bit of uh, garam masala also for our taste. It's time to serve. You can serve it with along with ghee rice, chapati or just a simple rice is also enough. To make our second recipe that is brinjal salad, I have taken over here a medium piece of ginger, 5 to 6 of cloves of garlic and uh, green chilli as per your taste and 3 brinjals I have taken that is eggplant and 2 cups of curd. Now I have sliced up the brinjals over here as you can see. Transfer the sliced brinjal into a bowl and I will be adding just a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder chilli powder and salt as needed. Mix it well and keep it aside for 15 minutes. We will be crushing the ginger, garlic, curry leaves and green chilli together. We will be transferring the curd into a bowl. We will be adding the crushed into the curd and give it a good mix. Don't forget to add kneaded salt to the curd also. Time to fry the both sides of the brinjal. To a serving bowl I have added the first layer as the curd and then goes in the brinjal. We will be arranging it in this way. Right brinjals. And with the first and in similar way we will be arranging the other brinjals. It's done and then we'll be placing a coriander leaf onto the middle just for a small garnish and when you're having it just take a brinchal slice dip it in the curd and then have it it's really yummy saturday we had a small outing to the mall of Qatar. That is the metro station which you can see and the pathway connecting to the mall. In Mall of Qatar we can see a lot of attractions like the Novo Cinemas, uh, Bowling Centers, Kids Motto, Extreme Land and also a lot of shops with food courts. I mean in short a complete entertainment place for your whole family. Now this is one of the main part of the mall of Qatar which you can see there is a center performing stage we do have a live shops over there and surrounded by a lot of attractions you can find they do have the fountain also and now we come to the shopping mall we used to spend some time over here you know looking up to the fountains it's really you know a beauty to see
Uh, this part is called as the oasis. Uh, it's actually a landscape with 30 meter high atrium. And this dynamic space is landscaped with planted beds and living and uh, tree like support structures. Walkways are attractively curved and restaurants lining the roads look onto a unique entertainment future. Now the mall was opened in 2016 December in Al Rayyan and uh, it is located adjacent to the one of the host stadium in 2022 FIFA World Cup. Uh, now this mall has over 165 fashion stores and uh, over more than 75 dining options and 19 cinema screens. Now similar like this we have few more attractions in the shopping mall and uh, each has a different design concept. We have few more shoppings to be done and uh, shopping is actually a boring thing, uh, not for us, for those who are watching. So. Uh, we'll be back. Now after the shopping, uh, we are here at the food court, a bit hungry. We have ordered our food from Shaita Abbas and when this start vibrating, we need to take our food from the counter. Beef kofta with some veggie pickle, chicken biryani, set appetizer of salad and dips. Now after having our food, uh, of course we need to spend some time for our kids also. So we thought of heading to the kids monto. Now the ticket price for kids monitor is uh, below 1 year is complimentary and 1 to 4 years is QR 90, 4 to 14 years is QR 135 and above 14 years or adults is QR 19. Now, kids monitor is actually a mini city built for and managed solely by the children. Now, this mini city has its own economy and currency, public services and over 80 different professional role play activities. That's my little girl Elena in a cute police officer uniform. And he is completely into his world and uh, uh, back to my daughter.
after each activity they will be getting a money like this and they can collect it they can buy toys from there do you have a toy store also inside that for each profession they do have an instructors and uh, they do guide the kids also well in short a place where the kids live in the future world they do have a lot and uh, i'll be showing just a few glimpses That's Ayan as a captain. In Kids Mondo, they will be providing you a map uh, showing the directions of each section. So that's very helpful for you all. Now, in each section, it's mentioned whether it's a minus or plus. And minus means you need to pay the kids in money. Plus means it's the earnings. Like uh, driving schools, universities, it's where we have to pay minus. And in professions like fire stations, hospital speaking and so on, it's plus. It's a two story and we are here at the first floor and here the main attraction is the flight simulators that's Ayan in the pilot uniform and uh, each section it takes 10 to 15 minutes uh, Alena was not allowed to enter so thought of having a round with her Nail polish turned from saloon and she was so excited I know they do have a Chotu's play area also with a slide and with also a cute mini kitchen play setup I think majority all the professions they have covered and uh, finally here in the creative world. 
I said I'll be just showing the glimpses only because both they run in opposite direction. Both kids they run in opposite directions. So how much ever time you come, still the kids are so excited. So I think I need to wind up and uh, hope you all enjoyed my weekend vlog. And until we see for the next time, this is Nisha. Take care and bye, y'all.